Well, Burke here at the Miller Lite 250, just a great day for racing. And as you can imagine, a lot of different side stories that were going on throughout the course of the day, one of which was the cooler temperatures that we had here earlier this afternoon. It made it very difficult for the racers to try to pass on the race course. So as you can imagine, all top three finishers were quite pleased with where they came in. You know, I can't expect any more out of everybody. And, uh, you know, that's kind of given us vindication over last week. And, and uh, we can go, now we're third in the championship. And, focus on trying to win the championship. You don't like keeping your names out of the headlines. This has got to be a great way to follow up Indianapolis. It's a great day for everybody at Team Cool Green, and I can't be any happier. You know, if you ask uh, anybody in the paddock, you know, if they thought we were going to finish third, I would have said no way. But uh, this is uh, like a win inside. Paul is supposed to set the pace and, uh, and the rhythm of, uh, of the start. and. Uh, Right at the start, Paul was ahead. Are you pleased overall with the finish? Definitely. I mean, we were uh, we dominated the whole practice sessions all all weekend, and uh, and the team has been very consistent. And, and to perform the way we performed after what happened on the start, I mean, it's, 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 it's just proof of And following today's race, Tracy was asked whether or not he actually jumped the start of this year's race here in Milwaukee, and he simply responded the same sort of answer he's been answering all week in Indianapolis, saying, "Hey, I saw green." Now, we will hear more from Paul Tracy coming up tonight on Sports Extra. We had a chance to talk with him one-on-one -on -one and ask him a little bit more about that controversial finish last week in Indianapolis. That's all from here. Burke, let's go back to you.